Okay, so in the body armor video I did, somebody was asking me um, if I had any good ideas for somebody on a tight budget. So I'm going to leave some links in the description bar in this video of like uh, places you can buy body armor. Um, keep in mind, you need to check your state and local laws about this, right? Make sure you can legally own it. Um, I'm not sure uh, how it works with felons. I don't think felons can own body armor. But look, in, you check your state and local laws. Talk to a lawyer first. Um, but anyway, after a little bit of looking around, I found these German flactarn Kevlar vests. Now, because they're over 10 years old, they don't technically qualify as body armor. Uh, well, at least in, in Texas anyway. I'm not sure if that's a federal or state law, but I remember talking about that to one of the guys in the shops. I look into it, and again, it was mainly, mainly to keep, uh, you know, for people I know around here. But check your state and local laws. I'll leave a link in the description bar. Now, this um, flak tarn vest is basically a Kevlar vest. Some of them are used, some of them are not. So if you're able to buy one, you know, it might smell kind of bad. It's easier for training. So what you would do is you would take out the Kevlar, right? Just uh, with a with a damp cloth, very lightly damp, uh, pat it, you know, dry. You don't want to wash it in the washing machine. You destroy it. So the plate carrier, you can throw in the washing machine. The Kevlar, just... Uh, Damp cloth, rinse it, maybe hit it up with some Febreze. I've heard, I've read up people doing that, and it works pretty well. I mean, Febreze works pretty well anyway. But, you know, give it a couple of sprays on that every so often. And then wash the uh, plate carrier in a washing machine. And there you go. It's not the best in the world, but it's something. Now you can always buy more Kevlar uh, on eBay. Or... I'll leave a link in the description bar. I saw this guy. He made his own uh, ballistic plates. So I was thinking maybe you could probably buy the vest, you know, wash the plate carrier. If it needs to be clean. If not, that's fine. Some of them are new, basically. It depends on what level. One, two, or three, or grade. One, two, or three. Um, the vest is in. And they don't always have them. I'll leave a link in the description bar. If they don't have it now, just check it from time to time. But uh, maybe... You could get the the Kevlar and uh, clean the vest, lightly clean the, the Kevlar, a little Febreze if you need to, and maybe make these other plates or buy some uh, some Kevlar on eBay and double it up. You know, at least you'll have something if need be. It's not going to be able to defend against defense uh, defending against a lot of firearms, but something is better than nothing, right? I think technically it's a level 2 or 2A. But uh, anyway, you know, most of the smaller calibers, it should be able to stop. Something larger, no. But you can start there. Maybe make those ballistic plates that the guy, I'll leave a link in the description bar, made. You know, put that in there. Uh, check your state and local laws. I'm not sure if that's legal, but if it is, there you go. You could uh, use both. And that give you some level of protection for pretty darn cheap. You know, you can look at a pawn shop. I don't know about that. Maybe police surplus. Because in a pawn shop, you don't know what, what someone's done. Maybe they threw the damn thing in a washing machine um, before they sold it. You never know. But check it out. You know, take a look at it. And, and you can probably, you know, I'm not sure. If you know anything about it, take a look. If I saw it up close, I'd probably you know be able to make a good judgment whether they buy it or not. But, you know, you may be looking at police surplus. You can look for that online, too. But, you know, somebody asked me a question. I thought I'd help answer it. I'll leave a link in the description bar on a ballistic test. Now, my problem with the video is he didn't, you know, put it like in a, a dummy or something. It's just kind of free floating uh, on a clothesline. So, you know, that, that uh, I'm not sure about that. Maybe it would have been set down or something or put on a board uh, or something. Maybe that would have been better off propped down. But you get an idea of, uh, you know, what Kevlar can do. Of course, it would not stop rifle rounds, but, you know, handgun rounds, yes. Um, but take a look at the videos in the description bar. Take a look at the site, you know, maybe if that's something you're interested in. 
they won't set you back that much. You can you can get you a uh, vest, maybe one for the significant other, and start there. Right? You can always trade up um, or sell them off later, or, or you know maybe some down somewhere down the line you buy something better, and somebody in your group has nothing. Well, then you can pass that down. Look here, put this on. You know, if uh, shit hit the fan. Anyway, guys, hopefully that helps. Take a look at it. Check your state and local laws, man. All right, I'm out.